Hello and welcome to another video tutorial sponsored by FreelanceFridge.com and ChillOutArtShop.com. Again, I'm James Koenig. I am the owner of both of these websites. I am an artist, illustrator, and designer. And I'm taking you into Corel Draw today to create a classic keep calm and carry on style artwork. I know this has been pretty popular. People have rephrased it a million ways. I just want to show you a quick and easy way uh, to design this artwork. It's real simple. Any screen printer or designer should be able to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to chilloutartshop.com. I'm searching for crown and I'm going to find a crown that seems to work. Crown number five I felt like was a, was a nice touch, plus it's a unique design, so you're not going to have any issues with any copyright from the original crown. So I've downloaded that, and I have it here. And this is where we're going to start with this design. Now the first thing we want to do is we're going to put the background color in. So kind of a little trick for filling this page with a background color is to hold down shift and then double click on your rectangle tool and that puts a rectangle the size of the page and then with our pick tool we can go in here and we can choose uh, a blue for that and you're just going to want to make sure that you go in here and take the outline off because the outline's not a pantone so now with this crown we don't want it to be all these colors we just want it to be um, white and blue. So we're going to ungroup the design and then without deselecting all we're going to do is deselect the black only because we want to color all of the color pieces white. So we're going to hold down shift and just click on the black area. This keeps all of the other pieces selected and then we're going to go into our Pantone color palette and I'm just going to use trans white here and you can see it changed everything at once because we still had all those other pieces selected. So now we can click off to the side and then use my quick and easy uh, coloring tool, um, which is holding down shift on your keyboard, right clicking and dragging from the blue to the black. And that pulls that color over. So now we've got it looking pretty good for the design. We're going to click and drag a square around the crown. And then we're going to group it just so we can easily move it around, scale it, and all that. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller here. Maybe squish it just a bit. And then um, to center it on the page, we're just going to um, click on the crown, then hold down Shift and click on the background and then hit C on your keyboard to center it. And that puts it on the center line of that. So now the crown's pretty much ready to go. Maybe we'll make it just a smidge smaller. Um, now we're going to write out the words. So you're going to click on your text tool, click once on your screen, write the first word, keep, then click somewhere else on your screen, write the next word, and keep doing this so that each word is its own separate um, piece. And then once you've done this, you can click back on your pick tool. Then we're just going to click and drag a square around all of the text. So we have it all selected. We're going to make it all the trans white Pantone color. And we can scale it up a little bit here. And then we're going to change this to center for all of them. And then we're just going to hold down shift on our keyboard and click on the black background color and then hit C just to kind of center align all of those. So it's starting to look how it needs to look. We still need to pick a font and figure that all out. So we're just going to select, click and drag to select all of the words again. We're going to go in here and choose a font. I'm using Mouse Deco, which you can find on dafont.com. Um, but, of course, you can find any font that you feel works with the style of this whole keep calm design. 
And then at this point, we just need to scale these to a point where they feel like the they mock that design that everyone wants to do a version of. And again, if we're getting out of the center point on this, that's okay, because uh, we can recenter all of these words. So I feel like that's probably a decent size for the word keep. Um, so then now, instead of trying to match the, the font size or anything like that, um, all we have to do, um, once we have one word to the size we want, click on that word, just right click and drag over to the next word, hover over top. It'll bring up this menu here. You just click copy all properties. And then it makes it the exact same size as the other one. If it's a different font, it changes it to the same font. And so it's pretty nifty that way. So again, we're just right clicking and dragging over to the next word and saying copy all properties. And we do that a few more times until they're all about the same size. Again, the word and is smaller on it, so I'm leaving that as is. Um, so again, we can click and drag a box around all the words. Then we can hold down shift on the keyboard, click the background, hit C to center. And then at this point, it's just a matter of kind of maybe tweaking a little bit here and there, changing the position until we feel like we've got this um, looking the way we want it to look and it feels like um, like it's the right kind of look and style for the uh, for the design and if anything goes off center again you can center it to the background and you're good to go so very easy very simple and you've got it good to go. And at this point, you can save this. And then if anyone of your clients comes in wanting this style of design, all you have to do is go in here and change it to what they want it to say. So um, if we're just sticking with the design standpoint, keep calm and design on. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. Uh, feel free to reach out with any questions or comments. Um, love to hear from you. Thank you very much and come back soon.